Welcome, my name is Victoria. We are gonna hit a circuit today. Weight step. You're gonna grab your weights and we're gonna do a bent knee deadlift. And you're just gonna tap a step. If you want to, you can lift hang. And you're gonna bring it back up. So you're hinging on the hip, curl. And then you're gonna give me a soft double and you're gonna raise it up. You feel those shoulders, you're gonna engage that core. Again, drop it down. Tap if you want. And then bring it into a curl. Chest is tall. And then squeeze those shoulders. Bring it up. Nice. Give me one more set. Squeeze that booty on the way up. Err, curled up. Yes, all right, so now we're going to squat off the step and you're just gonna turn it. And we're gonna squat off the step. So what you can do is you're gonna place the weight to one side, up, open, place the weight to the other side. So we're gonna load one leg, release it, and switch. You're pushing off the heel every time you stand up. You're keeping that chest lifted so you're not when you're reaching, you're not rounding at all. Because we don't want to get the back. We want to get the back side. Nice. Good, keep, keep going. One more. All right, now we're gonna do, do a little cardio. Waist down the side, out of your pathway. And you're going to do a little shoot the hoop. And you're going to make it small. You know, just let low impact if you want. Or give it a little hop. You're gonna feel the cardio on this, so pace it to what feels good to you. If you want a little extra, tap the step. Get into it, yeah. Good, so you notice that you're working that, that bent leg a lot. We're here. Almost there. One more. Other side. Same thing, shake it out. Woo. And we're gonna do it again. We're gonna rock it. Ready? Here we go. You're light on the feet. You're kind of springing up or tapping up, reaching for that elongation with the core. I mean, you don't need jumping jacks all the time, right? Boring. Keep going, let's do it. Almost there. One more. Taps, four around the world, one dumbbell. I'll show you as we go. So, one, two, three, four, bring it up. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go, pick it up. That weight. Just make a wide step. one weight and you're going to 
row, pass, row, shuttle. If you need to, stay on your knees. So what we're doing is we're gonna have lats, hitting the core, shoulders, quads. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can step the feet in. Whoa. Keep going. I'm with you. It's challenging. Great. You can grab both weights. And you're going to bring the step back in the middle. And we're gonna punch it up. One, two, three, four. You can hold the weights if you want to, or you can keep them in one spot. You can get press in the center. That really extra, extra for the arms on that one. Keep it up. Just make sure the weights are on the pathway and have some fun, right? Yeah. Finish it. Okay. You can bring that step back. And that is right. I remember what I'm doing now. Plank, you're gonna walk off the step. So you can literally walk off. Bring it back on, bring it back off. You can do this on the floor if you want. You can skip the step. Hands are below the shoulders. You're really engaging the core to protect your back. Again, those shoulders, keeping the shoulders down and back. Always thinking about that. We have free training right here, so be sure to subscribe. You don't want to do any moves that can compromise your healing injury. Don't do YouTube workouts unless you have a trained individual. Okay, so now we're going to go into the squat with the weights. And you're gonna 
open it up. Get a heel. Good. Getting low, pushing off that bottom foot. Try not to push too fast. Go nice and slow so you're really getting that glute rather than momentum. One more. All right, and we're going back those, those step ups. Side step up lateral. So it's just, so it's a good thing for your legs. Woo, I'm gonna hit all directions, you know? Okay, shoot the hoop. Here we go. Add that little touchdown if you want, a little, little challenge. And let yourself go. I keep it real for you. I'm not gonna try to act like I'm perfect. Definitely not. Keep it up. Come on, how about you go on it? Good, feel alive, you're almost there. Five seconds. One more. Other side. I should do like those dance people. They spin. So dancy. I'm not dancy. I got that flashback. All right, here we go. My feet. It's really easy to forget that. Less than 30. Or if you need to, step it up. One more. Yeah. yeah. And cheesy. Okay. And then we are going to go to the forward four. The rebound facing me. When you're ready, grab that weight for that next one. the row with a shuttle pass. Now if you don't want to do the plank, just row it and then alternate rows on each side. Core is tight, getting tough. Lock in that core. Easy we need to. One more. All right, now we're doing a one, two, three, free. I can't even talk. Because if you subscribe, you get bloopers too. Free. I don't care. Perfect workouts. 
or gotta be transparent. So we're getting those shoulders here, getting those legs, core. You can slow down the pace if you want to, right? Get in that squat. workout super boring and I will never do work I will never work out to one of those that's how bored I get so if you're like me come back always mixing it up but that's okay if you like the if you like the traditional that's okay I mean there's there's something for everybody all right and then you're just going to slowly bring those feet center Soft knees, hang, walk the feet in. And you're just gonna walk the hands to one side. Oh, I love seeing sweat. And bring it to the other side. Working out's like a massage. You just, ah, oh, so good. 
And then you're gonna slowly bring your hands to your elbows and you're gonna slowly roll up. Roll the shoulders back. Another Sean Dean move right here, right here. Good. One more. And shake it out. And then we're going to stretch out our front and release the fingers. Open it up. And you're gonna give me soft knees if you're comfortable with it. You're gonna drop down. Slowly roll up. Ooh. And let's go ahead and yeah, can't think after a workout. And you're gonna bend the knee, wrap above the ankle, press forward, grab a wall if you want to. You can do these laying down as well or on your side. I have a stretching video if you want to check that out to see what that looks like. All right, and then you're gonna take that same leg and you're gonna bring it up and over. Sit back in. Get a nice glute stretch. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I hope you join me again. I post each week. I try to, if I don't, there's some tech error, but I definitely will um, get a video out, get a new workout in, out for you. And then go ahead and switch, shake it out. If you're interested in knowing my personality a little bit more, check out my Instagram stories. I've been posting that a lot. Usually when you teach a live class, you know, they, you get to know people really easily, share stories that way. But since you don't, since it's a little more virtual, maybe that will come within time, but check that out. Or say hi in the comments. And go ahead and give me a little hip flexor stretch. And one more breath. My brain just shuts off when I stretch. Love that. But I'm like, oh yeah, what's the next stretch? And slowly bring it up. Shake it out one more time, and let's just bring it bend the knee. And switch. Keep stretching after this on your own or after your, you've completed your workouts of mine. Or anybody. Mix it up, right? And slowly roll up. And that is it, my friends. Circle workout, 20 minutes, little cool down stretch at the end there. I hope you're feeling nice and sweaty, warm, good, and fuzzy.